I'll give you a reason to smile. I could do that. It clean teeth, it whiten teeth, it make your mouth happy smile. It's so good. It's like a totally rad new toothpaste. I don't remember last time I see you smile. You're totally gonna wanna kiss me. Now you smile. Smile now. Smile. It no fire. I wouldn't lie to you. I don't believe it, it's you. I beg your pardon? That's you, isn't it? I thought I knew all Quentin's models. Are oh, you very observant? Well, not really. I spend a lot of time here. This is my gallery. I'm oh. Jeffries. I'm Gabrielle Jamel. Would you like some champagne? Yes, I would. Eve! Eve, Hi. darling, how are you? Later. Excuse me, how are you doing? I cannot believe you knew Quentin in Paris. Tell me, I want to know. Was he the same pain in the neck that he is now? Hello. What the hell is this? Oh, it's just a little something for my favorite artist. You always know how to hit all the right buttons, babe. Oh, you love every moment of it, and you know it. Here. Look at this. What's this? It's the announcement for your one-man show at my gallery. Yeah, you've always had great stuff, Nikki. That's why I want you to show it. Oh, I'll show it. What about a contract? Don't you trust me? I just want to keep things straight between us. Mm, speaking of straight, how's your commission going? Just fine. Mm-hmm. When? Shouldn't be more than a couple of days. No. No, it has to be tomorrow, Nikki. I'll do what I can. Well, I guess I shouldn't distract you then. Hey, we both have to stick to our sides of the bargain, don't we? Sure. But a little inspiration goes a long, long way. Oh, so I inspire you, do I? What do you think? best work between the sheets. Business before pleasure, Nikki. You call me when you're done. I'm sorry the gallery's closed. Uh, unless you have an appointment? No, but uh, could I make one? Well, certainly. When would you like? How about now? Miss Jumont, um, are you two together? Yes, my name's Peter Sinclair. I'm a friend of Miss Chimel. What could I do for you? I'm just trying to find out what happened the other night. I understand that you saw Miss Chimel leave with Quinton Jones. Everybody at the party did. They didn't happen to say where they were going. Uh, well, sh she was sick, and uh, he offered to take her back to his studio. I don't remember any of that. Well, I'm not surprised. I presume the police found you. I hope you don't mind, but I was obliged to tell them everything I know. Excuse me. Eve Jeffries. Nikki, hold on a minute. Excuse me, Mr. Sinclair. Um, if you don't mind, I really do find this whole interview in very bad taste under the circumstances. And uh, the gallery's closed. In mourning for Quinton, or uh, simply to get your accounts up to date? Goodbye. Bye.
Nick King. I hope you're calling me with some good news because uh, I've just seen some very bad news. Very bad. What is she doing here, Nikki? Eve. We found her at the deli. She and some guy. So what? Well, I just thought. No, Nikki. You know, you didn't think, and that is the problem. Now give me the gun. No, no, no. Don't give her the gun. She's going to kill us both. Shut up. Nikki, we've got a lot of work to do. The briefcase! It's just your money, Nikki. What are you doing here? Hello. Uh, it occurred to me, Dasha, that, that we never had a chance to christen this bucket, which I think is um, a nautical term to call a, a boat a bucket, isn't it? That's very good, Flynn, but not right now, okay? Well, I know you're not crazy to see me. I don't know why I would think you would be, because nobody else is, but Dash... Dash, I could just really use a friend right now. Yeah, well... I'm very angry at you, you know, the way you talked in the limo, using rape as a joke, that's, that's not funny, Flame. I'm sorry. Shh. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say things like that to my only friend in the world. Looks like the Robert and Kelly nuptials hit you pretty hard, huh? Gosh, oh, I loved him, you know that I... That must be this here booze talking, Flynn, because the man tried to kill you. I didn't say I was smart. I said I was in love. Right? I get it. It's time for me to make like the wind and blow, okay? It's nothing personal. You know why you're my friend, Ash? Because when you kick me out, you make it sound nice. <laughs> I'll be talking to you. Yeah, sure. We'll have lunch or something. I'll tell you, one of these days, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find somebody who wants me to stick around. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> is this the ESP place? Yes, it is. Come in. I'm Buddy, and this is Charles, but I suppose you already knew that. Uh, no, I didn't, but welcome to the School for Psychic Research. I'm Miss Spelling. Oh, don't feel bad. I can't spell either. <laughs> Miss Spelling is her name. That's right, Charles. And you said you didn't have ESP. <laughs> That's what we're here to find out. Um, we do it with these cards that contain various geometric shapes. If you'll have a seat, we'll Shotgun. Not mine. <laughs> Now, Charles, I'd like you to concentrate on this card. And, buddy, I'd like you to... Square. <laughs> Lucky guess. Try another one. It's a triangle, rectangle, circle, another square, three wavy lines, figure eight. Buddy, you have an enormous gift. Thanks, but how am I doing on the ESP? <laughs> You, you are amazing, buddy. People like you are very special. Not only do they receive messages from the minds of others, but sometimes they can actually see what's going to happen in the future. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Do, do you have ESP? To a certain extent, yes. Really? Read my mind and tell me what I'm thinking. une occidentale qui sait boire du thé. Pour Bouba, si tu sais comment boire ton thé, t'as plus rien à faire à l'université. <rire> Vas-tu encore travailler longtemps Je sais pas. Si je peux t'aider de quelque manière Disons, c'est le genre de choses qu'il faut faire soi-même.
cool, brother, cool. Ça alors Depuis quand les filles du riche parlent-elles comme ça oh, Disons depuis qu'elles fréquentent des nègres. Mieux que ça Il faut plutôt dire depuis qu'elles baisent avec des nègres. Tu es pauvre, nègre et génial. C'est bien ça Et toi, t'es juste et riche, n'est-ce pas Oh, pas juste riche, puisque je baise avec un nègre, pauvre et génial. Hey, t'es pas si mal pour une fille de Westmont. Oh, qu'est-ce que t'as contre les riches Can I finish that Oh, I haven't even started it. Just ask him. You want some Well, if you're not gonna finish it. Mm. No, I can never figure what that crispy taste is. What, the peanut? Yeah, no, the... Probably it. Yeah. Crushed roasted peanuts and toffee. Oh, I'm sorry. The only thing as good as your crispy crunch is someone else's. Did you only have the one? the best in the business. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Where'd you park the car? Uh, behind the hill. It's, it's a little far. Can you make it? Oh, of course I can. To think those fools actually believed I'd be so gauche as to swallow an unnumbered painkiller. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I steal a cigarette from you? Oh, it's my last one, but sure, go ahead. Hey, what hotel are we going to be staying at in Bolivia? You'll find out when we get there. You know, sometimes I, I don't think you trust me. <sighs> now, how can you say that? After all the planning we've done together, the fake hospital reports, the phone tapping, I have placed my trust in you many times over. You're right, I'm sorry. You know how I feel about you. I feel the same way about you. Enjoy your cigarette. Good morning. Good morning. I was uh, under the impression there'd be two passengers. Oh, I'm afraid there's been just a little change of plans. So you'll be flying alone? Yes. Well, Miss... Clark. Miss Clark. Did Ms. Brooks tell you exactly where we'll be going? Oh, yes. She left uh, explicit instructions. Climb on board. Thank you. Very explicit. As to what should happen if you arrive alone. She'll never reach your destination, Aunt Georgia. She'll enjoy the ride down to 30,000 feet without a parachute. Never make it. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Bob. There it is. Oh, do you realize what this is? A door. A big door, a big Nazi door. Am I close? The door, Bo. The door between us and the treasure. How do we open it? Would a key help? A key? Where would they keep the key? In your left hand. 
The medallion, look. You see the engraving? Oh. It's in. Easy, easy, easy. The castle, oh! No. Terry? It's booby trapped. I noticed. <laughs>